Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of My Hobby Hobby and new locomotive time. So what we have here is another purchase from A to B Model Railways, um, which cost me £196.25. And it is the early BR standard 2MT260 number 78010. And um, there is the code for future me. The reason why I do that is because um, if ever I need to maintain these locos, if they stop working and you know they're not working as properly as they should, then um, I like to do my maintenance journal. I write down what the locomotive is and whatnot, what the code is, how much it cost, and so on and so forth. So there we go. And on the back of the box is, of course, the history. Yeah, but we don't need to know about the history. All we need to know about is that piece there. So 78010 entered traffic at West Auckland Shed on 24th of December 1953. One of nine 2MT locomotives allocated there for passenger services at Saltburn. To Bay Min Mineral Workings over Stainmore Summit and the odd excursion working. In March 1955, uh, 78010 was moved to North uh, Northerton. North. Alaton shed displacing the J21, the 25 and the G5 locomotives to pick up on freight workings locally. In March uh, 1963 the locomotives were sent to uh, Pomody, Pomodai um, but was in a poor condition and was transferred to Motherwell before being returned to Darlington in June that year. 78010 arrived at uh, Farnley Junction in November 1963 before being moved on to Crewe South in April 1964 and from where it was withdrawn from service in September 1966. So to me that just says this locomotive is still in service. So let's get it out of the box. And again, praising Hornby's packaging. Um, you know, you've got the outer sleeve, then you've got the outer box, you've got the blister pack. You know, the amount of care that goes into making sure that these models are safe is good. So we have an instruction sheet. I'll do a Sam's Trains instruction sheet, let's think. There we go, standard 2MT. And it's going to be literally standard. <laughs> um, there is a detail pack in there. So removing the shell. So you've got, oh bloody hell, you've got quite a lot. So there's obviously your couplings, there's your brake rigging, I'm assuming for your locomotive and your tender. There's also some pipes. Um, there should be some steam pipes. And I think um, the scoop for the water trough. So blister pack. Oh, very loco heavy. Immediately there. Very loco heavy, definitely. It's got quite a nice finish to it. Um, oh, yeah, definitely loco heavy there. So putting it on the track. And let's get nice and close. It does look stunning for me. Um, I don't know if it's coming through on the camera. Um, one thing to note that there is a sliding roof hatch. So let's see what it's like ready to run. So turn on the power. Oh, no, it's still going. Still going. Oh, that is beautifully smooth. Okay, back towards you. Oh, that is a gorgeous runner. It's something to be said about um, Hornby's recent locomotives is that they seem to run better um, than the old ones. Well, obviously they will do. It's running so smoothly. And hold on, has it got? No. 
Uh, never mind, it's just the case. It's just the box in the background that made it look like it had a flickering firebox. Oh, don't do that to me. Right, so we'll get it to go past you at about 50% speed, which is roughly there for me. And full power past you. Gorgeous looking locomotive and a very good runner. So it looks absolutely fantastic. So we'll set this off around the track, let her warm up. And then I think we might couple her onto a train. Let's go for about that percent. There we go. Quite a, it's quite a nice runner. I like it a lot. It definitely looks nice. So what we'll do is we'll get it hooked up to some coaches and then we'll give that a run. Okay, so we've got the 2MT set up with um, just two coaches, the two BR1s, the wooden custards that I like. So let's give it a go. And there we go. Um, still can't stop a train to save my life. But it's an absolutely fantastic engine. It looks good. It runs well. And very reasonably priced. Uh, it's got a decent weight to it as well. Um, if you want to know more about this locomotive, then check out Sam's review that he did of this locomotive. His was just a standard BR green. Uh, I wanted to get a BR lined green uh, to match Ivy, but look a bit more updated. Um, I love this, I can't fault it. Either that's me being really easy to please, or whether it's a genuinely good model. You be the judge of that. But that's it for this video, hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment and subscribe. Always much appreciated, and until next time, stay safe, and thanks for watching.